Hey guys, what's going on? This is TJ Lowerman, aka That Sports Gamer, and in this video, we're gonna be breaking down the Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, before we get to it, let's give a little shout out to my buddy at Mike Suzik and at Darth Obvious, two diehard Brewer fans. Hopefully, they don't take to heart any of the bad things I say about these guys. All right, so Brewers, you know Ryan Braun, one of the best players in baseball, 99 overall, 29 years old, a pot, only gonna get better. Not like there's any room for him to actually get better. Uh, let's take a look at the starting rotation. You got Giovanni Gallardo, Kyle Loesch, Mark Rogers, Marco Estrada, Michael Fares. Sure. Uh, pretty decent starting rotation, but then you also have a whole bunch of good young arms coming up. You got Willie Peralta, 23 with a B pot, uh, Johnny Helweg, Tyler Thornburg. Look at all these guys. Low 20s, and they're all in the low to mid 70s. That's pretty good. That's what you're going to want to be looking for in a team that you're building for the future. Uh, one of the problems with this team is the bullpen is a little weak. Uh, as you can see, uh, Jim Henderson is a 79, so they don't even have an 80 uh, in their middle relief guys. Tom Gorzlani is going to be able to eat up some innings for you. Uh, Mike Gonzalez is probably going to be your best bullpen pitcher. He's a pretty powerful lefty. And Burke Badenhop is not that bad. Uh, closing out game is going to be John Axford. As you can see, no stash. Uh, 92 with an A pot, and he's 29 years old. Pretty good. Uh, he should do well for you uh, unless you have some problems. I believe in real life they signed uh, uh, K-Rod, so you might want to think about doing that. A little pickup also uh, if you do a franchise with these guys. Uh, moving behind the plate, you got Jonathan LaCroix, uh, 26 with an 86 overall B pot. Uh, Martin Maldonado, pretty legit player. He was in the World Baseball Classic, so uh, he might be a nice future piece for you if you want to trade LaCroix or move Maldonado, but after both of them, there's not much on the bench behind you. Uh, first base, Corey Hart hurt, uh, but obviously if you're going to do a franchise, you're just going to put him in the MLB. He's going to play for you. Uh, Alex Gonzalez is good, and he gives you the ability to play all four infield positions. So that is a pretty sweet little bonus right there. Uh, Hunter Morris, 24 years old, B-Pot with a 73 overall. Not bad, good contact, good power, pretty decent hitter. So he might be a guy you end up using in the future because uh, Alex Gonzalez is 36, so you might be moving him out soon. Second base, you got Ricky Weeks and nobody really behind him. Uh, very durable, good contact versus lefties, decent contact versus righties, and some pretty decent power numbers. He might hit you a couple jacks over the course of the season. Uh, but again, no one really behind him at second. Third base, Aaron Merce Ramirez. Always got pop. Look at that. 86 contact versus lefties. Uh, good contact versus righties. Good power in the 70s. Uh, that's going to be pretty good for you at third base, though. No one really behind him as well. So you're going to probably hope to get two or three years out of him. I think his contract is up. I could be wrong. Uh, so you might want to think about re-signing him. Uh, shortstop, you got... Yoneski Betancourt, who's been tearing it up in the big leagues this year. Uh, kind of decent numbers. Behind him is Gene Segura, the future of the position. Uh, 22 years old, 69 overall, B-pot. Uh, not great on the contact versus lefties. Pretty good against against righties, uh, but not a lot of power. He's going to be more of a defensive guy for you. Uh, probably like a 2 or a 7 or 8 hitter for you. Uh, but then nothing really behind those guys. Left field, Ryan Braun, as I said, one of the best players in baseball. Contact and power in the 90s. Only 77 power against righties. Not sure what happened there. Uh, good speed in the outfield. He's going to play some good defense. He's going to be the MVP of this team. It's not really going to be a question. Uh, and then nobody really behind him. Christopher Davis. Decent contact numbers. Uh, he might be a good option off the bench. Uh, but he doesn't really have the speed to be a pinch runner or anything. Uh, if you want to talk about speed, you got Carlos Gomez in center field. Decent contact, decent power numbers, but look at that speed, 92, base running ability, uh, 91, and base running aggressiveness is at 84. He's going to be a good guy for you. Uh, then nobody really behind him. I mean, Logan Schaefer is the normal backup. Uh, and he does not really have great contact or power numbers. Uh, yeah, so center field might end up being a problem for you going forward. Let's see if this guy, yeah, Victor Roach doesn't even really have speed, so... Uh, Carlos Gomez is going to be your guy to go with. Uh, Norichika Aoki, great contact numbers, not that great in the power, but durable, good vision, good speed, good base running. Uh, just a really good overall right fielder. But then again, 
uh, nobody behind him. Yeah, so those are the Milwaukee Brewers. A pretty good team. Uh, good pitching for the future, but not a lot of great backup on the infield and outfield. So that might be something you're going to look into. Uh, maybe moving some of that young pitching or maybe getting some of the old pitching out and bringing some of those young guys up early. Uh, if you like this video, you can give a subscribe up top, like it down below, tell me who your favorite player on the Brewers is and uh, in the comments below. Uh, and if you want to talk about the Brewers or any team that I've broken down so far, just hit me up on Twitter at ThatSportsGamer. Uh, I'll check back with you tomorrow with another video.